hey guys welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome welcome if you're new honey it looks like the jury has reached a verdict on the amber heard versus johnny depp defamation case so we are going to go ahead and get into it including a few clips that i took from the live stream so if you're ready to get into this crazy story just stay tuned it looks like the jury was unanimously in favor of Johnny Depp on his lawsuit that Amber Heard calling him a sexual abuser was in fact defamation. The jury further found Heard's accusations in the Washington Post were in fact malicious towards Depp. The jury awarded Depp $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages. Unfortunately for the punitive damage award, it was reduced from $5 million to $350,000 because in Virginia the cap is $350,000. So the good news is he got the max amount that he could have possibly gotten. I made sure to get the highlights of this verdict, so let's get into it. Print edition and the online op-ed. Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence? That question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Heard's claim against Mr. Depp, one, as to this statement, appearing in the April 8, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax, facts, as the sword, inflic inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two. As to this statement, appearing in the April 27, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Ms. Heard proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Heard. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven by clear and convincing evidence that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to this statement, appearing in the April 27, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, we've reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Heard's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of $0. Mm -hmm. Does either side wish to have the jury pulled? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> she is such an idiot. Like, she's just so dumb. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. 
I could already kind of tell that she was lying just based on all of the acting that she was doing on the stand. Depp just really seemed like he was just trying to answer the questions and get up off of the stand as soon as possible. But Amber was really like taking her time and trying to make a whole entire performance. And it was just a hot mess. It didn't work. And I don't really think that Amber knows what empathy or like real tears look like or how to um how to do that on command I don't think she's very empathetic so she can't act empathetic because she's not empathetic and she doesn't know how it's how it is she doesn't know what it what it is to be an empath okay doesn't mean know what it means to care and be compassionate towards others which is a terrible girlfriend that just sounds really awful I would hate to be Johnny I really would but um yeah no I'm really glad that he got his money in total I do believe he's gonna get eight million three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and she was actually awarded two million which is crazy because i thought she wasn't gonna get jack shit but the only reason why they awarded her two million for a countersuit of defamation is because johnny's lawyer said something about um they called 911 the first time and um when they hung up they came up with some type of plan her and like her friends and they roughed up the house and they poured wine everywhere made it look like a crime scene and then they called back so basically like accused her of like conspiracy I guess which in my opinion I feel like you should sue the lawyer because still Johnny didn't say it Johnny didn't defame you so why should Johnny pay if the lawyer is the one who made that statement I quite frankly believe that the lawyer should pay for it but that's neither here nor there. I am not a judge. But yeah, you guys, leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I post. One thing that I will say before I go, y'all, don't be lying on people. <laughs> like, if you're in a situation and yo chick or dude is hitting on you and beating you and pooping in your bed and lying on you and all of this, child leave it's so many better people out here honey <laughs> it really is don't do that to yourself like please don't take care of yourself guys like for real all right love you bye